What is going on everybody? It's Extreme Card Breaks. So I'm coming at you another video because we have some time this weekend to do videos. And hopefully you're all enjoying some of these throwbacks. Even though it's not a throwback real Thursday, but we're still classified as it. This is 92 Fleer Ultra Baseball. Back in the day, a lot of people liked this. And I mean, the big things out of it are these all-star cards, the Frankie and the Griffey. Um, Jim Tomey's rookies in here. Of course, you got like the regular Griffey, Nolan Ryan, PSA 10s so are really good on to it. Uh, there's a, I believe this is also the one that has the Tony Gwynn commemorative. I'm trying to see. It's like a subset, but it doesn't say on to here. But um, if it is, if I'm right, it has these Tony Gwynn inserts, but I don't think it might be another different year or a different series. So let's go ahead and pop her on open. Here's my little handy dandy knife. As I showed you guys earlier, I've been using these here for this older stuff just because it's easier to go into cases, and they do make stuff for vintage. Ultra Pro is the only one I know it actually does this, so um, it's easier on the corners, to be honest. So let's just take a look at some of this old Lear Ultra. Oh, man, th this is true plastic from back in the day, let me tell you. I got a ton of stuff here coming in, guys. So we have a lot of this stuff. Um, just really cool to open up older stuff that you don't see a whole lot of. I, I never plan on hitting a big one out of this. I mean, if we got one PSA 10 Griffey out of this, it would be well worth it. I don't know why I just showed you guys the bottom of the box. Bad habit, probably. Well, actually, good habit, but alrighty here. So, let's take a look. Like I said, it's been a long time. I remember these packs were hard to open. You had to go tearing them differently. Reminds you the old upper deck. So, I'll just show you real quick one pack, but we'll go through them all. And these here are not really stuck together, which is a good thing. There we go. I'm kind of going to go slow, just for the fact that these will scratch very easily. Back of this. And they are kind of sticking now. The old checklist just to go by teams there. Candy Maldonado. So maybe we might be a little bit slow. Oh, this is Series 2, that's why. Series 1 had the. Uh, the Gwyn subset. I just look, this is series two. I was trying to remember it, and it's been a long time. So I can't remember who's in what sets anymore, but we'll give it a gander, see what we can pull. Maybe I'll see something offhand that uh, might be worthy as a PSA 10. This will be a little bit easier to get 10s out of. And that's going to be one of them times where we're just going to be going slow. If you guys get bored, it'll be a recap at the end. You just want to flip to the end. Go about five, six minutes out because there will be a exit video. <laughs> that's what the rookies looked like back then. They used to have this gold foil up there. That's what they usually would get you on for grading. Lenny Webster never really did much, that man. So, Chad Curtis is a rookie in this pack for the Angels. Guys, you like me doing stuff like this? Because I'm just basically doing this just so people have education on this stuff. If you see it out at a flea market or a table, what you're go like likely going to get out of it. Guys, always let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. Vic Roberts. Third name you don't see much of. Let's take these and put them down here. Ooh. So I believe this was 36 packs. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of time here, but if you don't got anything going on, if you're sitting at work, you never know. Chris Gwynn. 
Hundes, Patterson, John Flaherty, he's the old catcher for the Red Sox rookie. These just like upper deck, after they sit for so long, they stick together. Ferris rookie. See, like this one here, the Mitchell. Might not be able to see it. See if I can get in the can. Let me get focus real good up close here. All right. You guys see there are lines onto this, just like back in the day. You can see it going right off of the, uh, try and look at my camera as I do this. Right there. So you guys see where my finger is at. So that's a lot of times what killed you on this stuff. With that rookie. Derek Bell and followed by George Bell. So stack these. These all go to a guy that does sports slots. So if you're ever looking for the base out of this stuff, I don't keep them long. Usually why I put them a month they're gone. He is like the fourth largest dude on there. And sports slots, he just basically sells base all the time. I mean, somebody asked me about doing it. It's way too time consuming for me. Rob Beck, rookie for the Giants. Denny Nagel, back when he was on for Pittsburgh. Junior Felix. Danny Tartable. There's an old Yankee for you guys. Franco Warehouse. Reminds me, I gotta bring something down here. Pick, I got a pile of trash down here. If you look at me, it looked like I was in a hoarder's shop right now. Yes, I said hoarder. Doug Hen excuse me, I had the hiccups there. Doug Henry went out to eat earlier. Hair rookie. First pack is pretty good. This, these nice ones, man, they're just all sticking. Robin Ventura, the man that fought Nolan Ryan. One behind there. Clear Ultra was always the cool one. We always liked it because it was glossy. The only thing bad about those glossies was they stuck really badly together. You can just see the pack right here. I'll try to do this first. Man, I can't get to that one. There we go. Alrighty. Jose Mesa, he was around forever. Mark Wallers. Jack Morris. Andre Dawson. Where's Don Dawson there? Scott Sanderson. So these had 14, yeah, 14 cards in it. So this is, this is like, I think these were like a buck back in the day, a pack maybe. Maybe a buck and a quarter, I forget offhand. Well, these here, I have never ever used I want to call it a cleanup service onto it for surface. Ooh, we got one of the uh, bad boys. Well, I don't know who it is, but one of the types of inserts we're looking for. Mark McGuire, very off centered, left to right, as you can see. But somebody down the road might need that for a set. 
And this is the first one out of it out of 20. Just going to put him in a sleeve. Now, we used to have these building sets all the time. This was like the cool thing. I mean, they. Marky up there. Like I said, it's hard to find the perfect centered ones. That there's more. Somebody, there's a lot of McGuire collectors out there might really like that more. You know, it goes in the old 50 cent box. Wow, these are just not going to come across easy. Okay. Come on, hey, you can come up here a little closer. Come on. If I go like this, watch this, it'll uh, fix it because it's picking up the background. And just so you know, all my breaks are brought to us by PCW. That's my box cutters. They hook us up. And the only thing I use an Ultra Pro, just so everybody knows, is these vintages. Everything else you guys see normally is BCW. Alrighty, one in a row done. Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff laying behind me. Guys, I got more 89 Don Russ, 90 Fleer, 91 Fleer, some 87 Sports Flips, 88 Don Russ, 90 Upper Decks. There's a 89 Fleer again. I have an 86 Don Russ, which we're going to go hunting for the mighty Conseco McGriff rookies uh, next week. You guys probably hear the pug. She found something she's chewing on. Fire bone. So we got another one. Ooh, Cal Ripken Jr. It's funny as I can see this better on camera by going like this. I love these things. This is number three out of 20, so we have two so far to set. I think there was only four per box, maybe, if I remember right from back in the day. We'll see what we get. I could be wrong. Uh, same players. Oh, I started sticking down the stack. Long stack. Oh, we're just going to win on that one. We're ready. Hmm. Gary Varsho. This guy's I remember from being on the Pirates. Eric Kairos used to be pretty popular back in the day, rookie. We're trying to get some older basketball in the you know, Jordan searching for the old collection. To me, it's just more fun getting my own stuff great at 10s than it is riding, uh, buying them. Well, or some just buys a 10. <laughs> But I try to get my own. Dirk Bell followed by George Bell again. Kenny Lofton, that man switched all over the place. 
Indians, Giants, Pirates. Sammy Sosa, 92 Fleer. Gotta check on that. Oh, sorry, guys. Kinda. There we go. Man, the camera sucks right now. There we go. Sammy Sosa. We'll put him off to the side. See if people are still doing anything with him ever since the steroid issue. we we'll have to look at some of them all-star cards, too, to see how bad PSA is on centering on to them. Huh, Joe Girardi, catcher for the Cubs. Reggie Sanders, another guy who was all over the place on teams. Oral Hershire still pitching for the Dodgers in 92. Dickie Thon. There we go. Mark Wallers again. Jack Morris. Gosh, all the packs would be like that one there. Just easy to go through. Greg Jeffries, our famous Greg Jeffries. Dennis Eckersley. Juan Guzman. People used to love him too. Faded pretty quick though. Should be good. Larry Walker. Jim Gott. Vanderwall. Yeah, when I picked all these up, the bread and butter is really the uh, 89 Don Russ, maybe 90 upper deck, depending on if we pull the auto. <laughs> that would probably be amazing. There's still so many of those autos out there people haven't found just because they produced it so much. Oh, uh, Roberto Kelly. I was thinking it was somebody else. I got a little happy there. So this one's number seven. So we got three so far. Maybe it was more than four box. 
I don't remember. Maybe they did come more plentiful. I just don't remember now. And I'll just show my age here. I think I was around. Oh, 15 maybe when these came out. 14, 15, depending on when they released. Oh, we got another one. That's what I'm talking about. Let's start getting them. Kurt Schilling. There it is. Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star. A PSA 10 of this is around 35 40 bucks. Man. These were just so cool back in the day. Wow, so happy to hit that. I'm really going to have to look to see what the centering looks like on a 10, because to me, the left and right looks off-center, but they might have just made them all that way. I cannot recall now, because all four of those are looking the same. And if they are, 10 Griffey is a good Griffey. But though I have a stack, guys, it won't go out. We probably won't even see it till next summer. <laughs> We're gonna be very optimistic onto that. Well, sixty days is what two months. We'll say three weeks to log in. Oh wait, no, sixty days is uh, three months, so probably like four and a half. We'll get somewhere start of baseball season. Omar Vizquel. I mean, if you could find a box of these for like five bucks, I'd pick it up just for a chance of one, remembering some of the older stuff, but two, I mean, get that PSA 10 Griffey, spend 8 bucks, 5 13 $17 profit. I mean, a lot of people don't see that anymore that way. They just, uh, Deion Sanders, they just look at the bigger stuff. There's a big market for the smaller stuff. Because you got a lot of collectors out there still. Which I didn't think was still around until recently. The mistake I made, all my base rookies, I'd always sell them in lots. Should have just graded them all. Man, the money I'd have made back on breaks off of that. Oh, I think we got no. Yeah, there's another one there. Cool. Maybe not. It looks like it. Little Hershaws. Yeah, we got one. Yeah. This was the Mickey Tettleton. See, they're all centered like that. It's number five. And so you gotta remember, people just threw this stuff away. So the people that are now like out there opening this stuff, you know, they're finding it. It's harder to get tens than when if you would have had it when you were a lot younger. And this stuff will dry up one time. We should start calling it hunting the good stuff. We a lot of pack openings this week. Um, we have some prison basketball coming in. <laughs> Not the Pat Mahomes we're thinking about there. Um, it's a college draft box of uh, immaculate basketball. See if we can finally pull that one on one logo, man. Go. Pull the little thingy back. There. Crazy dog. Oh, it's so suck. He stays there. Now, I was looking at something like the Nolan Ryan was like a $15 card. 
But I mean, it depends on how many hits you get in the box. I don't think Nolan was in this series. I think he was series one, along with uh, Griffey and Bagwell. Jack Armstrong. Ooh. Jim Abbott. I'm trying to get this just to do their game start. It's starting to break it down a little bit for me. See what happens in the game today. Wow, last card? Oh, that's not good. I think our tail corner is a little dinged. Hopefully it's not a big player. It's Wade Boggs. Left corner is a little dinged, I could tell. The Wade Boggs. Normally what I look at is, I think I won all, a big stack of this stuff, somewhere around like under 20 bucks. So my thing is, I see I got to pay to get eight bucks a card graded, but Gary Sheffield, Padres, um, overall you can make a good bit of money back off of them with the right cards grading right. Or someone's upside down. Get rid of this stack here. <laughs> I didn't even make that on the floor. I went back on the desk over there by the other computer. Kevin Mitchell. He's on the Yankees in this one. Nope. No Griffey. No Nolan. Huh. Craziness. Probably could have looked to see what series and everything was in, but I was more hunting than what that. I was so happy that Griffey. That goes back to PSA 10. It pretty much covers cost of the card plus everything I broke or opened and got. You guys seen the Pete Rose earlier. That'll be a nice one, too. Dion. Be nice to pull a second Griffey though. Very tap Robin Ventura earlier, so we won't talk about him again. All right, it's winning there. Chris Carpenter, Tom Gordon, there's Wade Boggs, John Smiley, Ben McDonald. Man, everybody loved for one for about. A year tops. And then he just fizzled. Hell, might have been a month tops, really.
Yeah, the Tony Gwynn search for series one now to think about it. So you can pick those up for like for five, six bucks on eBay PSA tens to get your set. Dennis Eckersley. There's the Guzman. Is that my, oh, no. That was somebody else when I saw it real quick. Got four packs left. Everybody's been sticking with me. Thank you. I do appreciate it. We'll have a real like, probably 20 second recap. Wow, right on top. Roberto Alomar. I guess they were all off centered like this now by the looks. So we got a shot at some PSA 10s there. Gary Sheffield. Minus Wade Boggs. See, back in the day, the inserts came anywhere. They weren't in the middle of your packs like they are now. So you never know, or knew, I should say, where the stuff was laying at. Yeah, see Joe Girardi again. All right, last pack, guys. We did pretty well. Pulling the Griffey out of there's 20 of those uh, inserts. Getting him probably one every three, four boxes, I'd say offhand. That's if it's just you know evenly distributed. So can't complain. Who's hiding behind you, Brantley? Ready, let me put this stack here behind me. Try to make the number four dude into the number one dude. All right, so recapping on this. We were mostly after these all-stars. I couldn't remember if Nolan Ryan or Griffey was in this series or not. And the dog's just chowing down this bone next to me, so I do apologize. Roberto Wade Boggs had a little ding torn from where it was located at. Mickey Tettleton, there's the Griffey. We're going to hope for a 10 on the Griffey. Roberto Kelly, Jr., Mark McGuire, so three, five, six, seven of them. Not too bad, not too shabby, guys. Yeah, plus we had a Sosa. Only one Sosa in there. But I do appreciate everybody for checking out the videos, as always. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the little like symbol. That way you're notified when we do go live, which will be next week. Or this week, I guess you could kind of say, coming up. We're doing that 86 Don Rust box. You guys can check out some uh, older stuff.
Other than that, thank you. See you guys all later.